my clothes. So I put on my, you know, fit gear because now we're going into the boot camp. So if you're ready to just get your game on in your your profession, if looking at your resume, um, trying to figure out how to manage change, and then looking specifically at tech jobs, that is what the afternoon is about. And we also, today we're going to do a pitch challenge. So you're going to get to witness that if you've never seen it, it is so cool. My name's Patty Dobrovolsky. I'll be your MC for this afternoon. So the first part of this is we're going to hear from incredible speakers. And the very first speaker that we're going to bring up is Tanya Wills. She brings 25 plus years in the strategy, motivation, high performance team space with leading tech companies. She worked for everybody pretty much, but she is really currently, she re was recruited to lead a team of partner sellers at Microsoft. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say, Tanya. She's going to speak about architecting your dream job in the trillion dollar cloud industry. Now, Tanya, first, before we get started, tell me for this year, what is your intention word? You know, everybody has a word yeah. that they start off there. What's yours? Transformation. Transformation. Okay. Get ready for some transformational um, bomb drops right now. I'm ready. Here we go. All right. Thank you so much, Patty. I'm so excited to be here. So let me go ahead and, and enable my screen. All right. Can everybody see that? Awesome. Okay, so I'm leading the, the Women in Cloud session to really kick off the various parts of the boot camp. And as I was kindly introduced by Patty, I am Tanya Wills, and I'm leading this company called Standing Up. So let's get started. All right, so she gave me a great kickoff. And actually, I've been in the cloud industry for the past eight years, but I did start my career off with IBM, Siebel Systems. Uh, SAP, Microsoft, and then some startups and some smaller companies in between. I have led alliances. I've been in sales, business dev. My passion is really alliances and bringing people together. So it's really connecting companies where I've built out really diverse, powerful teams. I, I like to say diversity attracts diversity. And women want to work for women, surprisingly. That's what I really found in the last my last role recruiting a number of women who, who work for me and I picked the best person for the job. So, um, so I really stand by that. But I also provide some career mentoring, coaching and work workplace uh, and conflict coaching as well. So as women, we got to negotiate better. That's just something I don't want you to settle for just anything. So I've I copied my uh, Tanya Wills on LinkedIn and I'd love for you to reach out and connect with me. So my favorite quote is, you get what you settle for. And I've used that for many, many years. But I got onto Google to just get an idea of like who might have said that. And the only reference was Louise Sawyer in Thelma and Lee's. This, it, Louise, it's such an empowering movie. Just, you know, go women. And for me, it really embodies just not just not getting what you given, you're given. Just striving for the best you can have. Aspiring great. When I go into negotiations, ask for too much. You know, do it and negotiate from there, because that's one of the areas that I think as women, we have to strive for those higher titles, those higher roles, and we have to architect that ourselves. There's nobody out there driving our career but us. There's nobody else speaking up for us. That's, that's our job. So I love the idea of this mindfulness in these sessions. I, I loved Patty really having us put out a word, and I... I had mentioned transformation, but here I want to talk about another word that is that's really important to me, and this is attraction. And and it's how do we attract that dream job? And and I like to to point to the secret. That's one of the films that I watched, and it's really focused on the law of attraction, because what we bring and request of the universe can come back to us. So I have a very strong power of attraction when it comes, especially to the job search. And I want to go through a couple of things that I really, you know, even right now, as I'm in the midst of my own personal and professional transformation, what I'm focused on. So the first thing I want you to do is make a list of what's important to you in that job and get as specific as possible and dream big, right? So what are you looking for? And really keep it on the positive, okay? So 
a couple things can be, you know, do you want a full time or a part time job? What's the title you'd ideally like to have? Um, are you a leader? Are you an individual contributor? You know, where is the position based out of? Are you remote? Are you working uh, in an office? As specific as you can get, it's really important. What are those functions? Are you looking for a sales job, a technical job? Um, do you want to do marketing? Are you looking for product? I mean, as, as much as you can write that down, it's really going to help you start to craft your strategy. Put it down on paper, pen to paper, get off the computer for a moment, create a vision board if you want, you know, put pictures that show that dream job. You know, for me, it's uh, something for my home, but I still like to travel. So I have a, an airplane, but I also have a home desk picture, those type of things that you want to attract and really work on putting that out there. OK, so that's intention. That's the mindfulness on it. Um, one of the things I really request, I, I work, excuse me, myself and I suggest to women is uh, and anybody that I'm career coaching is leveraging the informational interview. OK, it's tapping into your network and it's setting up conversations with a focus around getting what you're looking for, getting educated, you know, what's going on in the industry. So, so I, I did a couple of like, you know, what it is and what it isn't, do's and don'ts. So it's an opportunity to do research, right? Get the best things. Hey, Mary, what is going on in your industry? What hot topics are happening? What fields are really blooming? You know, is it artificial intelligence, you know, cloud providers, what are they doing? Um, you get to learn about specific companies as well. Hey, what's your company focused on? What are areas of growth that, that you're, you're focused on? Um, what trends should I be aware of? It's an opportunity also to build relationships, right? How can you help them? There's an aspect of reciprocity. I love it because I've learned what I do and I don't want to do. Oh, that sounds really interesting, but that's not for me. Or, hey, I want to learn more. Um, really, you know, it's not a hard sell. It's not asking for the job. It's just gently getting to a place where you can actually say, gosh, you know what? I'm, I'm super interested in that. That sounds super fascinating. Um, so gently selling yourself. You want to prepare, you know, look up the person that you've reached out to, tap into your LinkedIn network, have them connect you with other folks, you know, really expand that, that, that net and have a number of different conversations. Uh, there's just so many great things that can come out of it. So make sure that you're prepared. Also, in closing, uh, make sure to ask them to connect you with somebody that they might know, uh, if they're aware of any possible opportunities that you can follow up with, and, and what are the next steps, including what you can do for them. I think it's just really also important to, to be of service and offer them what you can do for them. Um, additionally, so what it's not, this is not about you asking for a job. It's it's a subtle way, but more so it's building those connections and and manifesting that attraction to bring those people and those opportunities to you. Uh, it's taking time to listen, you know, take notes, hear what they want to say. People love to talk about themselves. So tap into that energy and learn more about them. Uh, this is not about winging it like, yeah, oh, hey, I, I don't I don't know much. Look at the company, look at their role, look at. Uh, their LinkedIn profile, where they went to school, any common interests that always establishes some nice rapport and some small talk, right? So Tanya, you know, you love living in Orange County. You know, what brings you here today? Um, and and again, don't, don't skip off looking at their background. Don't waste anybody's time, you know, keep it crisp, make sure you're prepared, um, where you can provide value if there's something they need. And, um, and then it's also not a time to be shy about really asking those next steps. You know, the end of the conversation is really something that you want to you want to to drive in the process. Uh, you want to really do your research also in terms of differentiating yourself. This is a massive industry. Cloud is hot. Everybody is putting, you know, m millions and millions of uh, millions of, of, of gigs of data. And what was that big, huge number that that uh, I think Patty had mentioned or when maybe Shetra, just just the amount of data that's out there. So uh, get certified. You know, whether you're in sales or technical, those entry level certifications are, you know, super important. When you look at your past experience and then we're going to go into how do you nail those interviews, you want to drive that experience into how it could benefit 
the cloud world if, if that's what you're looking for specifically, right? So, hey, I did this. I've been involved with software as a service. Here's how we sold subscriptions. That's that's my background. So I'm mentioning some sales functions, but also for me in alliances, you know, what strategic alliances can I do with these various partners? And speaking of partners, tap into this huge, huge partner and cloud ecosystem. We have such a great network. Accenture showed up gave a great presentation, you know, what they're doing, and they have a vast network. One of those things on my list is actually to reach out to some of my Accenture contacts, talk a little bit about where they're seeing some hot areas, what movement, what growth they're seeing, and, and where I can get connected, you know? So uh, there's a lot of different partner types that we can tap into. You know, somebody on, on one of these breakout sessions reached out, reached out she's like, hey, I'm, I'm an ISV, I wanna talk with you more. There's uh, there's VARs, there's SIs, um, there's also third party influencers like Gartner's uh, and other companies. So think of that big ecosystem. And when you're looking at networks and getting into LinkedIn and looking at people, you want to again spread a, a wide net, and then you know see a little bit where that universe guides you. Um, so. Uh, Last word of intention I do want to throw out there is really just be fearless. You know, we, you, you've got nothing to lose. And if you dream big, you live big. Um, so we've got some upcoming sessions that are really super exciting. I just want to make sure that everybody's aware of some of these things. So, you know, mastering the interview, uh, you know, navigating job transition. Hey, I know what that's like. Sometimes we have uh, we get laid off. Sometimes there's some transitions in our career that we hadn't expected. And I loved Gabriella Schuster who said, anytime a door has closed on me, something bigger has been waiting. So don't look at those transitions as negative. Look at them as an opportunity for something that you may have never thought about and imagined and, and really get out there and manifest those big dreams. And um, last but not least, um, we've got the boot, boot camp coming up as, up as well as the plenary power panel. So How's that for a tongue twister? Thanks for your time. Please do reach out to me in LinkedIn. I'm happy to help in any way I can and enjoy a great session. Thank you. You're fantastic. You are so incredible. I love that. That was just like, boom, got it all. I captured as much as I could, but I love that. Uh, you know, I can totally resonate with that, that if you put it out there, that's what you manifest. So you got to understand that taps your RAS system, right? Your reticular activating system, like your own internal Google algorithm. So go out there and do that. Thank you so much for kicking that off. What a good kickoff for the boot camp. I love it. Thanks, Tanya.